Welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, you are going to learn to write a Java program to multiply two numbers. This is my IntelliJ IDE. This is my project. And right now, I am going to add a class to it. I'll name it multiply two numbers. And there you go, class created. Now, I'm going to create the main function for which I am going to simply type PSVM and IntelliJ is going to do the rest of the work for me. We are going to take the two numbers which this program is going to multiply from the console. So let's first declare the two variables. They will be integer. So I'm going to write int a comma b. a and b are the two variables which are going to hold the two numbers which this program is going to multiply. To accept the input from the console in Java, we are going to make use of the scanner class. That scanner class is available in the package java.util. So let's first import it. All right, we have imported the scanner class. Now we are going to create an object of the scanner class. So we are going to write scanner sc. That is going to be the name of our object, new scanner. Within its brackets to its constructor, we are going to pass system.in as the parameter. This is going to create an object of the scanner class from the standard input of the program, which means that the program is going to read from the standard input using the scanner class object. Before we proceed further, I want you to know that 90% of the folks are not subscribing to Joystick after watching videos end to end. I say if you feel you have learned something from my videos, please subscribe to Joystick. It motivates me really to keep creating such tutorial videos for you. There is a lot of ground to cover and I am doing everything to bring the easiest to the most complex programs across different programming languages for you. Now let's come back to the program so we are going to first display a message when the program runs a message will appear on the console which will ask us to enter the two numbers for that we are going to write system dot out dot println the message will be enter the two numbers all right We'll call the next int method of the scanner class next using which the program will read the text from the standard input, but it is going to parse it into an integer. So it will be a equals to sign sc dot next int b equals to sign sc dot next int. Let me give some space over here. All right. This line of code is going to store the first integer that we are going to enter from the console into variable a and this line of code is going to store the second integer that we are going to enter into variable b. Now it's time to write the main logic. For that we are going to declare one more variable, one more integer variable and uh, that will be mul. Let's call that mul. As its main logic, we are going to write mul equals to sign a multiplied by p. I think it's pretty much self-explanatory. This line of code is multiplying the value of a with the value of b and the multiplication result will be stored in this variable mul which we declared just now. Finally, we are going to display the result of the variable mul. So we are going to write system dot out dot println and we are going to write it in style. So it will be the multiplication of we will use the concatenation operator a concatenation operator again and b is concatenation operator again mul variable mul this is going to print the multiplication of the value of variable a and the value of variable b is the value of the variable mul finally we are going to 
close the scanner class object it's a good practice because by closing the scanner class object we allow java to reclaim the memory that it has assigned to the scanner class object never forget this all right it's time to run the program and check the output okay so the program is asking me to enter the two numbers let me enter two and let me enter 7 the multiplication result is expected as 14 and there you go the program has printed the multiplication of 2 and 7 is 40 let's uh, run one more use case this time make it a little bit more complex so it's going to be the multiplication of 25 and 20 the multiplication result is expected to be 500 and yes it is so we can say that the program is working fine with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed learning this java program do subscribe to joystick if you want to grow in java like this video share this video with your friends and colleagues only for this video goodbye and take very good care of yourself